No. I'm JR. I'm 26. I live in Manhattan on $22,000 a year. <laughs> that was all. That was Drop yeah, we're about to end the stream soon. Hello, hello. Come on in. So this is the place? This is it. It's one room. That's it. It's a shoebox. Yep. Wall to wall. The hell? And what we got? We got <laughs> 72 inches. Six feet? We're out of tape. <laughs> so this is only 12 foot and we are at, so I, I'd say this is 14. 14 foot by six foot? That's crazy. 84 square feet. Oh, okay. Well, plus your bed space. So what is the rent of this apartment? Six eighty-seven a month. Eight thousand two hundred and forty-four dollars a year to live in Hell's Kitchen. You can't beat that. <laughs> no, you can't. You Come can't on. beat that. You can't beat that. How did you find this apartment? <laughs> Craigslist. I had no idea what I was doing. This was like kind of like a back burner apartment. Like worst comes to worst, if I can't find anything, you know, I was looking for bedrooms in Brooklyn. Seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars for a bedroom, right? And I didn't find anything. This was my only like saved tab. You can't increase it legally five percent more than 5% yearly for as long as I stay here, right? My neighbors next door, they've lived here for 12 years. Front door, right? Bye, Mandy. Right next to it is my kitchen, but I'll cook like chicken and a skillet, some eggs, soups. It's not bad. Got my microwave, pots and pans up there. What I'm most excited about, I have a whole ass closet, right? Towels, hats, clothes, shoes, my air conditioner fits in here. Yeah, this thing, it was here when I moved in actually, so. If I have bills, letters to home, postcards, all that, I'll write them here. Keep my coffee, probiotics everybody. Very important. That's crazy. Kitty bro. treats. One a day, okay? Just one a day. That's for later though. She's already had one today. It's a strict one a day policy. And then I'll keep like, you know, oil up here, cooking supplies. Below is kind of random stuff, medicine. Yeah, oh yeah, watercolor set too. So I'll go walk around. Just watercolor different buildings that I really, really like. So this window right here, we're in it, in the painting, right? So walking around New York City, I feel like I'm in this beautiful painting. So I wanted to put that on paper, kind of what it feels like. Um, there's a photo taken in 1940. This is the building. This is my living room. It's Manny's living room, actually. Store stuff in my nice little bookcase. Cameras, all that stuff. That's Crazy. This nice wing back chair in the ottoman. It's like, I can't afford to go buy brand new furniture. I don't really know anyone who does that. Salvation Army, I thrifted it. It was like 80 bucks. Find cool stuff for the cheap. The window, it opens all the way. This is probably my favorite thing about my whole apartment. If you look outside, you can see Times Square. The H&M building, it pokes up over the walk-ups. It's just really, I've dreamed of this, right? Never did I think of sunlight as a commodity, right? That's how I have plants. So in the wintertime, the sun's facing this way. In the summertime, in the spring, it'll hit all these plants right on. They flourish, they become so green. My Monstera like lifts up, it's crazy. Mandy loves it, it's good for her. She gets some fresh air. But this right here, check it out. So, do I go to the gym? No, it is so expensive, right? I can't afford that. So if you back up, check it out. Every day, every morning, I lay out the mat, I got my yoga. Yeah, you can't beat that. A zero dollar gym in Manhattan, what the heck? Come on. I bike to work every single day, right? So I go to the Hudson, go down a couple miles to Chelsea. I bike every single day, rain, snow, heat, I don't care. When I'm seeing people, yeah, I take the train. But you know, how many people can fit a bike in their apartment? So how much per month would you say you spend on transportation? I don't know, 20 bucks? Even if I'm walking, I'm biking. The train is kind of like, when I'm feeling a little lazy. <laughs> Actually, do you want to come to work with me? Man, I'm a barista trainer, so I bring in new people and make them feel welcome. I show them something I'm super passionate about. I teach people how to make latte art, how to make siphons, Chemexes, all that great stuff. Like, that's my job. That's how I can live here the in rest this apartment. Room, bro? For six eighty-seven a month. I'm a regular person. I don't make a salary. I get paid by the hour living here, right? And let me ask you, would you say that you earn enough to live comfortably in New York City? Yes, absolutely. If you 
He's smart about it. So this is your bed up here? Yeah, so you go up the staircase, and up here, the penthouse, baby. The penthouse. <laughs> yeah, dude. You and it's great, because you know, dope. I keep the window open for the cat. The city noise is honestly nice to fall asleep to sometimes, when people aren't screaming. If I come this way, my bathroom. It's oh. right across the hallway. Ross. And it's nice, it's like almost bigger than my apartment. <laughs> My favorite part is this little skylight we have up here. When it rains, it's like, and a toilet in Manhattan? No, I'm just kidding. Is this a shared bathroom? Yes, but uh, no problems whatsoever. Is it good? Yeah, super respectful. I've never had an issue with that. Not once ever. And you see how clean it is. Spotless. Right, we both put in the work. What's the dream? Why New York City? Music is everything to me. I get a little bashful. <laughs> figured, you know, I love people and I love places and putting yourself out there. Yeah, I have a small space. I don't have a lot of stuff, but what I have, I love. I appreciate it more than I ever, ever did anywhere else I live. This bike, it takes me everywhere. I love this bike. I respect this bike. This guitar, that is the most distilled way of self-expression that I have in my life. So I take care of it. I oil the fretboard. I change the wires, right? I do all this stuff to make sure, you know, it stays okay. It's like, I'm not just gonna go out and buy another guitar, getting a little deep and stuff, but yeah. What advice would you give to someone who has a big dream and wants to move to New York City? Is it possible in 2023? Yes. It is possible. Right now, I gave up almost everything in my life. Family, friends, possessions, my car. <laughs> I wanted to be here more than anything else. This is the first place since my hometown that I feel like I belong here. Just go for it. Mark Twain said, go out on a limb, right? That's where the fruit is. New York's this beautiful tree that produces fruit year round. I'm picking these apples, right? I'm eating them. I'm thriving because of that. I get the most, the most actual, realistic, full human experience here. I walk down that street, I hear French, Arabic, sometimes Italian, Spanish. In my hometown, do you know what I heard? English. So I'm getting this insane you know experience of all the cultures put together in one little five borough bubble. I make 22K a year, hourly. You gotta want it, right? You can't just kinda, oh, I guess I'll go to New York. No, like, I am going to live in New York. Would you say right now living in New York City is energy. worth it? Yes, 100%, 100%. If I was living in half the size of the space, paying twice as much, it would be worth it to me, Eric. He no doubt in my mind, no hesitation. I would have still done everything to get here for that, period. Yeah.